Hey everybody, this is Drinks and Design with Heather and Amelia, the show where we talk about drinks and their design. So today we're going to be reviewing and looking at the Cougar's Hand by Kettle Brewing. This is a red ale. So let's crack this one open and have a little taste. A nice generous amount there. There we go. I'm so excited. So this is a really nice sort of red amber color. It's, it's pretty deep. It's dark. As you can see this is a really nice dark amber red color. Mm -hmm. uh, it's and it's got the deep flavors to match. So uh, what I noticed with this one was the uh, multi start to it with the notes of caramel. It's very smooth and mellow. Uh, sort of in the middle, you get this woodsy, smoky feel, and then there's some hops and flavors of pine on the finish that yeah. linger a little bit. Uh, so it's really nice. It's got a really rich flavor, but mm -hmm. that hoppy note kind of cuts through it and stops it from being heavy. Yeah. And even though it's only a 6% beer, which I think technically classifies as medium bodied, I would say that this is quite full body. Um, and then I agree with Heather, super, it's woodsy, it's got some pine in there. To me, I, I think it's technically caramel. I like to think it's molasses. Yeah, it's um, a little, verging a little on the molasses yeah, side. It's sweet, sweet. But not like sugary sweet. Mm -mm. It's like that burnt kind of caramel molasses mm. kind of. Yes, burnt caramel molasses. That's that's what we want. <laughs> that's what we want in our beer, especially during the cold cold months. Yeah. Before we jump into our vibe, as always, I like to talk about the mouthfeel of a beer. So, um, if you were to sip this, you would find it biting. Get it? Because it's a cougar. <laughs> For vibe, uh, I just wrote down some words that I kind of associated with this. So, um, I put down warm, cozy, fireside, fall. Mm -hmm. That's sort of what I think when I drink this. Like this is a good cold weather beer yeah. and you kind of want to be like all cozy tucked up while you're drinking this. I would agree. I wrote down that the vibe would be actually a really good camping beer. So same kind of situation around a campfire, warm, cuddled up, blankets. Um, if you happen to be camping it out in the woods, bonus points. Yeah, I also think that this would pair well with some like warm hearty food. Um, yeah. I had it with some chili, very Ooh. good. So okay. something with a little spice maybe, a little heat. Um, but yeah, it really stands up to a, a heartier food because it's a bit more of a full-bodied beer. Agreed. All right, so I'm gonna read the description that they wrote in here because it's pretty funny. Watch yourself. You're about to get slapped by five fingers of flavor. <laughs> a healthy body and gorgeous rouge color highlight this West Coast kitty. It is right at home in the woods with a lot of piney, resinous, hoppy aroma and enough bite to keep your taste buds tingling. Wow. <laughs> um, so first of all, A, like brand voice, they nailed this. I love a brand or specifically a brewery that doesn't take themselves too seriously. Um, and this is so, their brand voice is so fun. Like even on the front of the can, it says, beware of the bitter hand of deliciousness. Also with a meow. <laughs> so it's, it's already so fun even before you've started sipping it, which I love. Yeah, the um, cans also reflect this. They have this lovely cartoony style to them all. Mm -hmm. They're all this sort of monochromatic style, although each one's a different color for different types. Uh, so this one is red, and you can see everything on it is in those shades of red. Um, and then you'll have one that's green, one that's blue, depending on the beer type. But um, having this um, cartoony style sort of, and the monochromatic palette keeps them all looking consistent, even though they have different drawings, different fonts. Um, it still feels like it's all part of the same fun, funky brand. Yeah, they did a really good job at tying everything together, A, for, just for a single label, as well as encompassing that look and feel throughout all of their cans while still keeping everything unique and different. Yeah, it's also reflected in the brewery itself. So if you go to their tasting room, it's very funky, eclectic, a little bit hipstery. Uh, they have really cool cartoony artwork on the walls and yes. like a mural. Um, and it's still got, and it's got like a bit of a rustic feel to it as well. It's, it's a really neat, fun little place. Yeah. Um, and if you get a chance to go visit, it's sort of like tucked away 
but it's really worth going to see. I agree. Even though the artwork is front and center and is meant to grab your attention, the writing and content and copy is still super easy to read and digest. Um, simple to see who the brewery is and then actually on the back on white all of their content is there for you to learn a little bit about the brewery and a little bit about the beer um so label draws you in and then the content and how fun their brand voice is keeps you interested and gonna make you want to buy the beer yeah and sort of finding a brewery with this kind of fun uh feel to it it makes you want to try their other products as well so you see this it's, you know, it's got the fun artwork, the fun copy, and you think, you know, I might give some of their other stuff a try, too. Totally. I completely agree. So, to finish off this segment, um, we're just going to tell you a little bit about the brewery, because this one's actually home and local to us in Kelowna. Um, they are tucked away in Kelowna's north end, and um, Kettle River Brewing is a small batch brewery. Uh, neighborhood brewery then they pride themselves on experimenting with new recipes and ingredients making for an ever-evolving collections of beer on their lineup um, and on tap so super fun if you're local to Kelowna I would definitely recommend going to check them out um, or making them part of your brewery stop tour while keeping it COVID friendly and safe um, and if you're visiting us after COVID yeah we definitely re- recommend taking a stop there as well Yes, either or. Very good. To sum up the Cougar's Hand, uh, flavor-wise, it's got sort of a nice burnt caramel or molasses mm-hmm. flavor, but a nice hoppy kick at the end as well to cut that so it's not too heavy. It's very smooth, robust, robust, not robust, <laughs> robust. <laughs> I like it. And, um, yeah, it's just it's a really nice sipping beer, good for, like, the falls, winter sort of type time. Mm-hmm. And then to sum up the design and kind of branding, we love their brand voice, um, and they did an excellent use of monochromatic color. Cheers. Cheers. Do you want more great marketing? Drinking. And design content? You can follow Highlight on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And then follow Drinks and Design on Instagram. See you next time. I didn't like the wave. You didn't like your wave? I didn't like my wave. Okay, well, I will keep my wave. It's weirdly awkward. It's fine. It's us. Heather, we are awkward. I know. It's on brand.